What up everyone, it's Jason here, and today I'm just doing a quick video, because uh, st there are some series on my channel, but uh, the ones that are, I've, because I've been cutting down on some series to make room for some new series that I want to do with my, my friends, um, they're coming soon, um, because I can't do them because they're kind of like a weekly thing, uh, I can't do blockheads because that's a weekly thing. Clash of Clans, I, I don't feel like playing a bit of Clash today, I've, I've already done a, I'll do a Clash video tomorrow. Uh, some cast stickers for what to do. So I've been building this little old uh, Hunger Games map that I was planning on playing with my friends, and I thought I might uh, do a video on it on my YouTube channel when it's done. As you can see, it's far from done, but I thought I'd just show you what I've done so far. So, it, obviously this isn't completed, but I themed this on Feudal Japan, slash Ancient Japan. Uh, and uh, the Mysterious East, as it's known as in some contexts. Um, I started off with the basic spawn area. We have these lovely little lanterns, which are very nice, very majestic looking. And I tried to make a little, a nice little pattern to make it uh, look feudal style, but as you can see, it didn't work out as well as I would have hoped for. Uh, standard, standard starting point chest, crafting table, but no furnaces. There are furnaces in some buildings. Uh, there are four bridges that go uh, in this this lake, this flipping lake. That's causing me all sorts of grief. I used TNT to make it, and so not only did I have to fill out, spend ages like filling out all the un uneven bits, as you can see, it's completely smooth and amazing. How the hell did that get there? You know how this random bit of grass just got there? I I'll just destroy that. Anyways, so. Each bridge goes across, uh, and there's a village uh, 30 blocks away. I had to measure that out, so it's uh, very specific. Uh, nothing but perfection here uh, in in my buildings. Um, there's a little town. It should contain uh, two or three buildings. This is this is the first one that I made. It's got like a large house, um, probably where like a rich lord. Would would uh would dwell. Um. Uh, you got a kitchen room here. Uh, a nice, lovely furnace. All these chests have been filled to the brim with uh decent stuff. There are I haven't added in a lot of weapons yet. Uh, yet. Just let me double check. I yeah, I put that down. Uh, in each of these rooms, there are like little. Uh, there's like a little nice little area with some plant pots and stuff. Uh, so basically the same in that one too. The windows and I, I didn't. I decided not to use glass because uh, there wasn't a lot of glass around in ancient times, um, as far as as far as I know. Uh, wh where am I going? Anyways, over here we have a we have a peasant house. It's quite simple. Two rooms, one central room, um, and one bedroom where you just sleep here. It's a single bed. I didn't add a real bed because otherwise players would be able to set their spawn. Um, and that would be very improbable. Uh, we have a we we have uh, a series of uh, wells here for collecting water, and we have a watchtower here with sp double spiral spiraling staircases. I thought it'd be pretty cool because uh, it would be like you could have some epic battles in here. You could jump out the window. All sorts of crazy crud could go down. All sorts of crazy crud goes. Uh, I I I made sure to add in bows because this would also be a very good sniping position. If you're MLG Minecraft, which uh, none of my friends or I really am, I think the most MLG guy I know is is probably going to be Alex. He 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 knows he knows his way around Minecraft. This is kind of like a little temple, or kind of like a little fancy thing. Just, just I just thought I'd add this in because because uh, no one can stop me really. No one can really stop me. We got a farmer's house here. Uh, uh, just a little tiled floor with wood. We have like a little cooking area. We have a furnace so you can smell ores and cook food. Uh, I've made sure to add plenty of potion ingredients as well around this map as well as bottles and stuff like that. I will wall this place off so no one can get to the villages. And in here we actually have the pig huts. And fascinating thing, I've actually named each one of these after famous, uh, Asian Asian people like Chucky Chan, obviously a famous actor. Zero, who uh, is from the Borderlands series, I think he kind of looks like a samurai or a ninja. 
Uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee needs no introduction. He is Bruce Flippin Lee. Uh, Kirby, after... Actually, after Kirby, who's a Nintendo character. Um, yeah, just... I, Kirby's one of my favourite Nintendo characters. Uh, aside, uh, Ma I think Mario would probably be one of my favourites. Rockman, who is in Europe and North America known as Mega Man. And Liu Kang from the Mortal Kombat series. Well, we all know Liu Kang, I'm sure. Uh, from the original, he was from the original uh, Mortal Kombat, which is uh, dubbed the second best after the second Mortal Kombat game. But anyways, that's all I've all I've built so far. I've hidden a few chests with a bit of iron uh, down in the lake. I haven't added in much weapons yet. I will I will be adding two more little towns. And I'll also be adding in some Alex Tommy to add in some koi ponds. I want to add in some little pools with some little majestic w looking willows in. I can't, uh, I'll can't, I'll have to find some sort of uh, I'll have to find something really cool. I want to add it maybe in a, ma ma a small mountain range, maybe uh, some pastures. I don't know. But if you guys have any suggestions to this map, uh, you can leave them in the comment section below. I've been Jason Paul McDermott, and you have all been fantastic. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.